Hi, my name is Alan Edwards, and in this Estranged Development blog, I'm going to show you how I'm making uh, interactive newspapers and uh, computer screens in Estranged Act 2. Now, in Act 1, a lot of players said that they really liked the, uh, the interactive newspaper. There was only one of them, um, and the interactive screens, of which there were a few. Um, in Act 1, because it was very difficult to work with the Source Engine's uh, UI framework, uh, I opted to use HTML and an embedded web browser um, to create the different uh, interactive elements like newspapers and screens. So you see here, this isn't a very complicated HTML page, um, but if this was written in, in Valve's UI framework, it would have been quite complicated just because of the, the different elements here and the different ways things are aligned. Uh, so I opted to use HTML. But the problem here is it was a little bit difficult to translate because it had to use uh, a format that HTML understands and I couldn't translate it using the same files as were used for the UI. So it, it became a bit tricky to manage. Um, also, translating uh, uh, gamepad events between this and the, uh, and the main game, that was also quite tricky. So in Unreal Engine 4, there is a nice technology called, called Unreal Motion Graphics. And this lets you, uh, this is a WYSIWYG editor uh, that lets you drag on uh, widgets. And it's very, very flexible. So this is that, that same newspaper recreated using UMG widgets. And you can see that it's, it's there. Everything is there. So uh, all of the, the layout features, very easy to use. And uh, this is very easy to localize as well because it just gets localized, uh, translated to a different language using the same files that every other uh, string in the game does. So uh, this, is, this is a very powerful technology and a very, very cool way to do this. And it means that we don't have to use any, any other solutions like HTML. So I'm going to show you this in game. I created this uh, very small actor component, which is BP in Interactive UI. Uh, when it's used, which is a custom strange thing, it's essentially when you press E on an object, uh, and this is our test object, uh, then we create the, the widget, and the widget I've just picked to be newspaper. So when I press play, and then go up to this, press use, you can see that here is our newspaper. And uh, then we can quit as well with escape which is quite powerful. So that's how we're going to be uh, doing uh, all of the interactive UI elements in Estrange Act 2. Thank you very much for watching.